you to talk at the same time as me, okay? Okay, starting now. Hello, uh, hello. Welcome, welcome to uh, another, another great, great and amazing, amazing episode of, of uh, this Buffy the, the Vampire, Vampire Slayer, Slayer shout cast. Shout ca- shout ca- <laughs> Fan cast hosted, hosted on shoutcast servers, servers, as we usually say. Okay, <laughs> so welcome. that's our intro, everyone. So welcome to another episode of All the Space in Between. My name's Mitch. I'm Billy. Hello. We got three whole questions today. Yeah. And I should tell you right now, we're working on back catalog for when you leave. Yes. Because I don't want you to go home, fly home, and immediately have to record a, <laughs> a record long a distance podcast, episode. That would yeah. Suck. yeah. That's not ideal. My brain doesn't work for a minimum of a week after I get home. Nope. No. No. It's too well, much. Well, you, <laughs> you always say, like, well, I'm just adjusting to, you know, the, uh, I'm just adjusting to the, the time difference it's jet lag or something like yeah. that and like that's the reason i'm sleeping in and that's the yeah. but then consistently for the three months that you're here yeah you'll sleep until like well past noon excuse you is that I the was jet up lag at 11 10 today that's pretty good no that's depression oh okay that's just the good that's good old uh clinical long-term depression that's the that's good eroded old my brain vitamin d <laughs> yeah that's deficiency. injected itself into my brain mm-hmm Thanks, everyone. Hmm, wait, I like Thanks that. Thanks for pointing it out. Vitamin D deficiency yeah. is from the sun. Yes. And it causes depression. Which also begins with, with a D. D. Yeah. Do you think the D in vitamin D stands for depression? Vitamin depression. <laughs> <laughs> vitamin depression. I'm just depression throwing fire. stuff out here. I'm just, I'm, I'm, a, just, I'm just scanning. Let me look it up. He's pretending to look it up Holy right now. Holy shit. He's, he's tapping on a table, <laughs> it so does. it sounds like he's... It, re- <laughs> it stands for vitamin depression. <laughs> I can't believe it. Don't call me out. Me taking my daily vitamins. Hmm. My daily dose of depression. That would suck if I <laughs> was taking my vitamins and I accidentally took my depression pills. I, I mixed... That's what happened. That's how I got it. I mixed mm. up my vitamin D and my vitamin depression. Mm. And now I'm in this predicament. One time I took vitamin D12. Hmm. Give you 12 years of depression. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like breaking I'm a mirror. Almost, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost up, thank God. Jesus, we're almost out of it. That's where D12, the rap group, got their name. Oh, yeah. Depression tw- <laughs> 12. This is stupid. It's the dumbest thing. This hey, guys, welcome, welcome to the podcast. My name is Mitch. I'm Billy. I'm actually going to start the show now. We do have three questions. We do. And uh, two of them are short and one of them is very long. So, yeah, one of uh, them is split up over four emails, actually. <laughs> one of them is too long. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to read it anyway. And, we'll get into that then. And by that, I mean you're going to read it anyway. Yeah. And then we actually have a little uh, party we're going to later. Wow. Uh-huh. We were informed that this party had a theme. Yeah. And we were planning our outfits around the theme. And last minute, the theme got ditched. But we might wear our outfits anyway. <laughs> yeah. Not to name any names, but my neighbor David. <laughs> <laughs> lied to us. <laughs> lied. And Told a lie. Had to text me this morning saying, <laughs> actually, uh, the theme is for the next party. There's no theme for this one. I'm like, oh. Okay. Well, I'm still going to fucking wear eyeliner. I'm going to pretend I didn't get this text. Yeah. I'm going so, to read this text. Yeah. And I'll turn up at the party like, whoops, how embarrassing. I am the hottest one here. And they're like, oh, you live just right there, so you can go in. No, sorry. You can go get sorry. changed. Oh, I've locked myself out, actually. Yeah. Oh, and also this eyeliner I'm wearing is like really waterproof. So even if I cry a whole lot, which you're about to make me do, <laughs> uh, it, won't it, come off. it won't smudge. <laughs> And it won't run. So there's that, David. Keep that in mind before you talk, maybe, <laughs> before you speak to me again. <laughs> so, should be a fun day. Yeah. But let's cast our pod for a bit. Let's, uh, well, hold, my God, I almost forgot I didn't jack in. Oh, Jesus. Uh, beep, beep, boop. Beep, beep, boop. I'm in. Jack. Read the first question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this question goes kind of cute, mostly concerning. And it reads, Good morning, Robotucin and tuberculosis. Not a pickle, but just wanted to tell you guys about a kind of cute, concerning aspect of my recent life. I really like your podcast. 
And I mean really like it. Like it to the point that I fill almost every moment of silence with it. I listen to it in the morning when I'm making breakfast, and if I was watching a show on my phone or a YouTube video while eating, I'll put your podcast on to listen to while I put away my dishes. I listen to it while I play Smash. Sick. I listen to it while I deliver pizzas. Very sick. And again before I fall asleep. Needless to say, it's become a very present part of my life. I've listened to every episode at least three times, and I've listened to most about five times. It's gotten to the point where sometimes I talk about you guys to my girlfriend or as though you're my friends. Yesterday, I told my girlfriend about how Billy pronounces suedo as suedo. <laughs> okay, say that correctly. Pseudo. S- Pseudo. As suedo. Suedo, yeah. She knows I'm talking about people from a podcast, but I still feel weird talking about people I've never met before as though they're close friends of mine. I've also listened to the episode so much that I've embodied both of your personalities and my entire humour is now your guys' humour, and I'm afraid that if I recommend your show to my girlfriend, she'll realise that the entire personality she fell in love with is just a combined personality I leached off of Billy Bloodbath and Mitch the Mommy. Kind regards, this person's name. And then in tiny, tiny little font it says... P.S. It's also good to note that while I was writing this, I was reading it in my head in Billy's voice. <laughs> so this is very much suited for the cadence of her speech. So Mitch, if you could please be a good ally and let Billy take this one. Thank you. It's worth noting that when we were looking through the emails originally, mm-hmm. um, I read this to you. Yes. And then I got to the end and I was like, oh, well, because <laughs> I liked the email and I was like, yeah, let's just give it a little star and mm-hmm. then maybe we'll read it on the show. And uh, what's, oh. the, what's this tiny little P.S. in small, small font? Oh. Oh. oh well, fuck me then. <laughs> I'm being snubbed. <laughs> All right. I see. I'll just go sit on the sidelines for a while. Fine. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for listening to the show. Sick. I think so that's, sick. I think that's very, you. very, very cool and it gets me super excited. I mean, you listen to every episode like three to five times. It's a lot. Yeah, your brain's mushed by now. Your brain is rotted to oh, the core. Oh, God. Listen to an educational podcast. <laughs> At least Not to fill the, the gaps. Not all the time, yeah. but just, Yeah. <laughs> If you could have like our podcast in one ear and a TED Talks in another ear. Yeah. Two AirPods. And then in the background, like a learn French tape. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't make your brain more much. This person forgets how to read after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. This person starts experiencing organ pain <laughs> after all of that. Got a bad back now. <laughs> anyway, this is this is cute. And also, I don't know, a little bit relatable. Huh? A, a little bit relatable. Oh, yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. As in, I base my personality off you. <laughs> That's why it's relatable I'm kind for of me. matching your energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I was a little afraid um, when I first showed you Peep Show that you'd realize that um, half my personality is Peep Show. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Absolutely. <laughs> And when you showed me Jake and Amir, I kind of realized that about you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? What's funny is that we got an email just recently that we haven't yet read, so I feel bad. But like the PS on it was, I forgot who even, or like what the email was about. Because it wasn't about this, but Mm-mm. it was just a PS in the email that was yeah. like, Mitch, PS, are, are, are you into college humor at all? Old college humor videos. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, someone um, was just like, you seem like you've watched Jake and Amir. And you was like, I've abs- seen every episode. I, I grew up in Multiple high school. Times. In high yeah. school, just watching old, just a lot of old college humor stuff. I, mm-hmm. I love that whole old crew. I, I, I still follow like Pat Castles and stuff on uh, Twitter. And uh, Jeff Rubin is like a really good podcast. Mm-hmm. And then Jake and Amir are doing their headgum stuff now. Mm-hmm. And um, I would always tell people, or at least I can especially tell people now, the way that I talk, yeah. The things that I find funny, yeah. My cadence is <laughs> is, is, is entirely is entirely wrapped up in a mixture of old college humor videos, mm-hmm. old Mark M videos. Don't look that up; they're crazy problematic. <laughs> don't <laughs> really do that. Bad. They were they were of its era, and yeah. but don't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just how my friends talk, yes. Also being influenced by little things like that in high school, mm-hmm. because the people that uh, listen to like uh, Jake talk. Yeah. Um, and Jordan talk mm-hmm. specifically are just like, you guys talk alike. You yeah. guys really, really talk alike. And we just grew up watching like old, old, like sick animation cartoons and stuff mm-hmm. and uh, leached it, you know, <laughs> just can't. Because yes. at one point when you're like 
15, mm-hmm. you listen to it so much that it just becomes how you fucking speak. Yeah. And then you can't stop. It's just you. <laughs> and then you just kind of sprinkle it into little stuff while adding your own things. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And then many years later, you show me the college humor videos. And mm-hmm. I'm like, they talk like you. Yeah. This is the, well, this is where this has come from. Oh, Do my you God. hear it in uh, Mark M's videos? No, but I, I think you've only shown me maybe well, that's one. Because I'm because you told me they're terrible. They're awful. Yeah. <laughs> they're really bad. I'm afraid if I actually like say the name of his website, I think I already did for a second. Just don't look it up. Don't look it it's up. It's really bad. Yeah. I still find them weirdly funny, but not they're like crazy problematic ones. Because they're not like that bad, but it's just they're just not that good, is the problem. <laughs> you know, they just yeah. didn't age well and he's like still continuing to do it to this day. Mm-hmm. And I just like We'll watch some of his newer stuff, like in my twenties, almost thirties now, knowing that I fucking found it <laughs> when I was fifteen. You're a child, yes. Uh, and it's like the same type of humor, and it just doesn't fucking click anymore. Obviously, yeah. Uh, though there was, I have a funny story. Okay. Of uh, Jordan and I watching uh, <laughs> one of Mark M's uh, animations, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I'm not going to, I can't, I can't really, I can't really get into describing (laughs) the animation that much, but, uh, it's in a courtroom setting and, uh, this, uh, wizard is, uh, being, um, is being charged with something and, uh, someone was like, oh, I heard, I heard that Shalazar the wizard was, was this. And I heard that he was this and I heard that he was this. And we're at about that point in the video. And uh, his dad walks in. Jordan's dad walks in. He's mm-hmm. like, hey, guys, what you watching? And that awkward thing happens where, like, you're 15 years old and mm-hmm. a parent stands behind you at the computer. And they're like, oh, hey, play. Let me let me see some of this. Let and me do this while the kids are laughing at you. Yeah, I can get down we're already, with it. we're yeah. already cackling at the beginning yeah, of this like, video. Well, let's see what's so funny Let's then. see what all the fuss is about. Mm-hmm. And then they fucking uh, stand behind <laughs> us to where we can't just be like, no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't do it. I won't show you. <laughs> so we fucking hit play. <laughs> and imagine a wizard in a courtroom. It's already ridiculous. And then somebody's just like, I, I heard that he was this. And I, I heard that Charles or the wizard was, was, was this. And then the wizard himself is just kind of like talking as someone else in the crowd. And he goes, uh, I also heard he has a really big dick. And I was like, okay, it's not so bad. It's not It's not that bad. It's just a dick joke. It's just a dick joke. And then people mm-hmm. start standing up in the courtroom saying, I heard that too. I heard he has a, a super de duper big dick. You know? And then they just start going on about the guy's dick. And I was like, oh my, oh my God, this is so <laughs> bad. Jordan's dad someone, is standing right behind me. Yeah, someone's parent is watching this with me. And I still remember the line. And it was, um, somebody says, um, I heard that his dick was so big that when he pulls it out, the whole room smells like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm 15 <laughs> and I'm already kind of talking like that at that age and it was a really funny thing for me to hear so I kind of laugh and Jordan kind of laughs and Jordan's dad is behind us just fucking deadpan oh like watching God. this thing it's so fucking bad uh, it's so bad because like do you, do you have to pretend that you like suddenly don't find yeah. it funny oh. but you're like oh this is tasteless actually I've matured since then <laughs> sir I'd never laugh at this. And might I say dinner last night was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for having me over. I'll I'll send my dad your your regards and then I jump out the fucking window. <laughs> jump out the second story window. Goodbye. See I ya. won't be coming over again. <laughs> God. Very embarrassing. If I showed you more of Mark M stuff, you'd you'd probably see it. Mm-hmm. And you'd hear it more in Jake too. Jake likes <laughs> Still mm. super talks like that. Mm-hmm. I like it, though. Yeah. Would you say I have an accent? Yes. Oh, God. Yeah, of course you have an accent. Well, what is it? Well, it's, um, it's not just a California accent. It's like a bit, I don't know. It's a little bit effeminate. Yeah. Kind of. I guess to hear it is Cali, always. Southern Cali, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, to hear it is always kind of. <laughs> Something I got to accept. But to me, obviously, I'm from a different... I'm from England. Of course you want an accent to me. Hmm. Yeah. I don't ever hear your accent anymore. Yeah, we're just used to each other. Yeah, that's a shame. You used to hear it a lot. You used to make fun of it a lot. (laughs) Well, we were making fun of it just the other day. Me and my family were. (laughs) That's true. Making fun of how I say water. Yeah. (coughs) 
You know what I also hear in you? What? Um, Cough. Yeah. (laughs) Me getting sick. A tickle. (laughs) A little tickle in your throat. Uh, When you got me to start listening to My Brother, My Brother and Me. Oh, yeah. 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 I hear a bit of the... uh, Those brothers may have leached their way into my lexicon. Yes. I think they did with a lot of people. Yeah. I think with that, it's because I listen to that and the D&D thing that they <laughs> do. too so much it's content. Like, yeah, it's too much. <laughs> it's just, it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's clouded my brain too much. It's mm-hmm. that definitely peep show on a little bit of fucking Mighty Boosh from when I was real young wow. as well. Yeah. It's all just kind of snuck in there a little bit. What re- what the worst thing though for mm-hmm. me is like you know you say when people like meet Jake or Jordan they're like well you guys talk the same yeah yeah and people meet meet my dad they say that that you talk the same as your father yeah oh that's funny yeah that's cool and we'll like make the same jokes and stuff oh yeah I'm just like oh yeah I suppose I do like the guy <laughs> <laughs> begrudgingly I have to admit that sometimes I think he's funny yeah he's a little chill <laughs> and I've incorporated that into my own personality. <clears throat> that's cool but but okay so the takeaway of this first email though is uh that's sick <laughs> that's good that's and we have good no and complaints sick. about it <laughs> we are all a melting pot of the things that we like we're all just and a we're mirror just ins- of consum- the things we've consumed yeah yeah for me it was just shit i found when i was like 15 years old mm-hmm. and then just continued to be into into like my 20s yes and yeah, I think that that's I think that that's good. Mm-hmm. We're all a melting pot. Yeah, and you will continue that. Yeah, and then a person I will hear it, you the, talk. The key to it is to just add a couple more things in. Just copy one or two more things. Yeah, just be then, inspired by like two other things. Yeah, and then and then you you're like either one of us, you know. Right, and exactly. Then, then and then, ju- suddenly and then it's just you're a, like unique, unique, a, a yeah. unique blend but of it's things not. that you've I'm copied. I'm just biting four people. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, if your your girlfriend likes you, they'll probably like the podcast, and mm-hmm. that won't make them think anything because, like we say, me and Mitch have both realized it about each other. Yeah, and we just, and then we just like that media because we like the person. True. So yeah, kind of works you, backwards. When I miss you, I'll just watch Peep Show, <laughs> and then it'll just be that. Would you say I was more of a marker, a Jeremy, or a oh, super hands? Fuck, that's so hard. <laughs> I saw a tweet by someone saying that we can all like stay our personalities by saying, you know, how much Mark, Jeremy, and Superhands we are. I that's that's really hard for you. That's <laughs> that really I'm I'm having trouble. I want to initially say Mark. Oh my god! I know. Sorry. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but you got you got some Jeremy energy. Yeah. <laughs> You really do. In in some chaotic um, Jeremy energy. In high school, like 17, 18 years old, I remember um somebody was like somebody's like trying to call someone out for like uh they were like, Oh, you started hanging out with Mitch and now you talk like him and blah blah mm-hmm. blah. But they did it in front of me and I actually remember <laughs> it, it was like really awkward to be like, Was that such a bad thing? <laughs> Aren't I a likable guy? <laughs> Is that, is that horrible? Hey, aren't we Fuck. all aren't we all just chilling with me currently? So <laughs> that's, maybe you all should start talking a bit more like me. Huh? Maybe the other person is they're just an early adapter. Yeah, or they're a true supporter. Um, I think I don't know if I've told you this before. I think I have, but my my first boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Um, I start shaking. <laughs> who, who is Wait, he? What? <laughs> uh, you've. <laughs> it's not me. I thought I was going to deflower you on our wedding day. <laughs> Shut up. <coughs> so my first boyfriend, um, his ex is my current best friend. Like, Wait, I, hold on. Mm-hmm. Oh, just say, just start saying Matilda. Matilda. I mean, yeah. I don't, I'm not protecting her name. I'm just trying to give the dynamics. Okay, so wait, I started. Sorry. Your first boyfriend. My first boyfriend. I was started dating him and I was like, who's this girl in your top eight? Because it was 2004. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, he was like, oh yeah, that's Matilda. She looks like uh, on the next street over. She's my ex. And I was like, uh, Matilda looks cool. Can we hang out with Matilda? And he was like, mm, okay. I'm a bit afraid you guys will hit it off though. Mm-hmm. And we did. <laughs> really really strongly and we both have moved way past him and our best friends now and it's good but one of the reasons that he gave me 
for breaking up with me is that after I started hanging out with Chilled, he was like, you talk like her now. And I can't stand it. Well. <laughs> he was just like, you talk like my ex now. <laughs> that, maybe, honestly, maybe he kind of had a valid point. Uh, he does have a valid point. Yeah. I did start talking like her, but it's not a bad thing. I love that about people though. Yeah. I love hanging out with somebody and then just like sprinkling in a new word vocabulary because of it you know yeah i'm a sponge for people that i like Mm -hmm. yeah and just grabbing little bits of them putting them in me it's good did i in our personal lives you don't ever say it on the podcast though but you will occasionally slip the word hella into into your into your vocabulary i do Mm -hmm. occasionally that's sick you know what's cool about my vocabulary A funny sentence. It's just charming is all. (laughs) You know what's cool about dating you and having and being here and stuff is that when um when I was dating uh Set the Skater, I started incorporating a lot of skater words into my vocabulary Mm -hmm. and everyone outside the group thought it was so stupid of me right to say stuff like stoked in particular i couldn't stop saying stoked and in england that's a weird thing to say if you're not a skater Hmm. like come over here no one no one's any the wiser (laughs) no one bats an eye because they're all just taking it from uh like southern california slang yeah because they're skaters everyone says it here yeah we're all stoked yeah so like hella and stoked and stuff like that was when I was like 18, people were like, why are you talking like that? It's so embarrassing. And now <laughs> You're you not to, from there. And now now you get I to am let it out. Here, See so now, fine. okay, What? how long would I have to live in the UK, in London? Mm-hmm. Given the accent that I have, mm-hmm. I could never just slip in words like mate. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't. Hmm, maybe not mate. I think you could get away with bears. I barely get what that means. What, what is that? <laughs> Bears. It's like a lot. It's like an animal. <laughs> it's, like, it's, a, it's a lot or very. So if you were to use it in a sentence. Uh, that's bear good. Oh, yeah. Of course I've heard that. Yeah. Or or it can. So I'd be like, that's very good. Or you'd just be like, uh, I don't know. How much money you got? Ah, I got bears. I just got. I, I could got never loads. say that. I think you could get away with some of the more the more subtle like london slang rather than just the british mate Hmm. slang like what what can i slip into my no okay but like aside from bears Hmm. what can i slip into my vocabulary um you could go with a good like east london essex narmeen yeah that's of course Mm -hmm. yeah i can get away with that you can get away with narmeen you should slip more like you should say the word gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. You should say the word gnarly. And then like like a gnarly wave that I caught. Yeah, yeah. That's the only the only context I can think of saying that. In. Yeah. Well, the next time you catch a gnarly wave, you'll know. Okay, cool. You'll know exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have it in handy for when that happens. Oh, we're spending way too long on this question. <laughs> We've. We've done used up half the episode <laughs> for the one question. I have a habit of that. But listen, I really liked the question. Yeah, I did like it too. Yeah. I thought we were just going <laughs> to skate right past it. Yeah. And Whoops. no, we did not. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that you listen to us. And yes. I think it's cool that uh, you talk like us. And uh, I'm, I think it's cool that we're comedic influences. Yeah. Which is what I'm, I'm putting in my Twitter bio right now, actually. I'm a comedic influence. I'm a comedic, I'm a comedy influencer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having something more of a fucking. <laughs> Nothing screams I do f- first person Twitter Face, skits more yeah. than that. <laughs> I'm a comedy influencer. God, my fucking dick just shriveled up. I'm a K, I'm a comedy influencer. Cool. That's what I'm going to say next door when I, if I meet anybody new, <laughs> I'm just going to be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, my name is, uh, what's a cool nickname? Mom, mommy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> my, mommy. M- my, Mitch the mommy welling. Mitchy, Mitchy the mommy. Yeah. And they're like, what? That seems kind of wacky. I, yeah, I'm like a comedy influencer. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I, <laughs> that was my reaction to them not knowing who I am. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like a comedy influencer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's funny to say that out loud, like to have to tell someone. 
because everyone else just like because usually knows. they're they're usually just like, hey, aren't you mommy? <laughs> <laughs> the, the comedy influencer. <laughs> aren't you mommy? The guy. <laughs> like how everyone was baby a few weeks ago. <laughs> Your mommy yeah, you now. Know, you know how everyone was baby. <laughs> I'm baby. How about yeah. this? I'm middle child. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Mitchell middle child. Well, like, hey, do you? Okay, there was a screenshot on my computer. Remember? Yes. Or actually, I, I was just. I took a screenshot. Up. Yeah. Because <laughs> when I was doing something, I was like filling out the payment info for something, and I don't remember what it was. And I can't fathom why this would have happened. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> <laughs> you know how Chrome has like autofill on it. Yeah. Like most browsers do now. I usually rely on that to, like, put in my card info, you know? Yes. And it didn't, like, it wasn't working on this particular website. And I was like, oh, but the name, did you hear that? Yes. Scary. Mm -hmm. I almost jacked out for a second. (laughs) (laughs) And I, thank God the cord didn't (laughs) fully (laughs) retract. It's fine. (laughs) Um, It autofilled the name and not the card. Yeah. But when it autofilled the name... (laughs) One of the suggestions was just Mitchell MasterCard Welling. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, what a cool nickname. It's so fucking funny to me still. Because <laughs> I just pointed it at it and I was like, hey, hon, look at this. Look at my sick new nickname. Mitchell MasterCard. MasterCard, <laughs> MasterCard in one word, but like the capitalized M and properly. The C were capitalized. Yeah. <laughs> was my favorite Mitchell part. MasterCard Welling. <laughs> That's what they call me. That's Mitchell just what I am. MasterCard. <laughs> so why do they call you that? Oh, I guess because I have one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, not to brag, but I have a MasterCard. <laughs> 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 like, you mean that fucking card you basically accidentally get as a teenager? <laughs> yeah, that one. Cool. Yeah, I'm a part of, like, not really a bank, but a credit union. So <laughs> it's like their only option. <laughs> so dumb but mitchell mastercard welling (laughs) is what i would love people to call me yeah i love it and it's what i'm asking you to call me now not you but the people listening billy billing information blossom (laughs) (laughs) billy billing address (laughs) blossom (laughs) it's so dumb Right. You gonna read an email? Yeah, and then we probably after we were just a two email show now. Uh, we it's promised so, the long one. We did, but it's oh, so oh, well. fucking long. It's I just don't long. think <laughs> that we have enough time for it. <clears throat> we'll see. Okay. <clears throat> this next email is called "Painting Boobs Pickle," and it goes, "Hello, my beautiful hosts." I am a college student studying psychology with a concentration in psychoneurology who loves to listen to your podcast while I am painting in my painting class. I make a point of waiting to listen to your weekly podcast until Tuesday mornings at 8 a.m. It makes me feel as though you guys are there with me while I am working in this two and a half hour class. I am having a problem with one of my paintings and since I listened to you guys in this class, I thought there would be no one better to help me with this problem. I was currently working on painting a still life of a toy dinosaur looking at a bowl of pumpkins. Everyone else is also painting the same thing. But I got so used to painting pictures of volunteers' boobs for the last month and became quite good at it. Now that I have to paint this painting that has way too many elements for my liking, pattern backgrounds, etc., I am finding it incredibly hard to paint for this class. I was thinking of painting (laughs) some boobs on the dinosaur, (laughs) even though the dinosaur doesn't have boobs. Should I hide some boobs in the painting or paint it the way my teacher wants us to? P.S. I love the art you guys make. Good. Well, let me just say, mm. I love the art you make. <laughs> considering Thanks. you painted this. Con- yeah, considering the art that you make is your vision is a toy da- dinosaur with tits on it. Oh, did you say thanks? You thought I was talking to you? <laughs> yeah. No. Are you sure? I, was, I no. was like, I love your, and you said thanks. No. Are you sure? I'm, I was saying thanks to the person in the email. Oh, I yeah. was hoping it was one of those things where like, I'm like, like you're somewhere and a person's waving at you and then you wave at them and then they like <laughs> they're waving at the are, person, are waving behind, at the person you. behind you yeah yeah i thought the, it was the, that the, this writer is the person behind me <laughs> this email writer I go, oh fuck it's embarrassing i go well that was really cool you go well thank you so i really needed to hear that today and i'm just like oh <laughs> someone believes in me thanks <laughs> anyway mm. um so you want to paint these big knockers <laughs> these big jugs jugs really on the uh <laughs> 
<laughs> on me. Uh, I'm kind of holding my. I'm kind of holding the microphone with both my hands, even though I don't have to, yeah. while I like adjust the crotch of my pants. <laughs> So uh, you you talked so about, this, more uh, about this this like toy. Dinosaur. Are we talking like a Toy Story Rex type of dinosaur? Except he has big, giant, fake <laughs> bimbo tits. See, this is not this is not the reaction I expected from you because I thought I thought I was mistaken. I thought this podcast was hosted exclusively by ass men, <laughs> such as ourselves. But yeah. That's where I thought we stood, but okay, fine. Mm, um, I guess I just have never experienced something like a still life toy dinosaur, <laughs> but with nice perky fucking <laughs> big. D's. Uh, yeah, d- men love to talk about D's. Yeah, yeah, as in the size D. Cis men love to yeah talk about just D's. Not that them big. having no, no idea what, what that means at all. Yeah, what like yeah. a D size bra is, is and what it means. Yeah. Yeah, if you're just wearing your like <laughs> bra properly, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. and it's actually you know they're like like they're imagining like even with like a D cup bra, yeah, your tits are just like spilling, spilling out of it, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. When it would just look like a comfortable bra, <laughs> it would just look for fine. yeah accurate size breasts, <laughs> you know, for that bra. Men are so fucking boring. But men are awful. <laughs> anyway, D stands for. Hey, do you think? Do you think the D in vitamin D (laughs) stands for, like, disgustingly large fucking Yonkies? (laughs) Like, just... Do you think the D in a 36D bra sounds for depression? (laughs) Yeah. Do you think so? (laughs) Fucking maybe. A 36 depression (laughs) is when you're depressed at 36. It's what I'm barreling toward. (laughs) Good, nice and comfortable. <laughs> anyway, my advice was going to be, let's scrap the boobs idea. Make this dinosaur have a giant ass. <laughs> and then send me a pic of it. Yeah. Please. Well, there was just a pic posted today about of uh, Sonic with a giant ass. Yeah. Posted by Alex. It kind of got me in a certain mood. I could tell. It got me in a mood to see more, more artistic renditions of giant ass, I guess. Um, and then who did we look up on Google Images on this podcast that it's like, whoop, that was thick. Pikachu. Uh, oh, yeah, Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, well, when you just looked up... Uh, Pikachu Libre. Pikachu Libre, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Then it very quickly gets into just like <laughs> porn, right? Yeah, just, not hardcore or anything. No, but, but just yeah. like one of those mm-hmm. like DeviantArt style, Rule 34 style. We, we, were, we were just uh, on the the youtube homepage just before we started recording and the top thing on there recommended to us was a picture of mario with a giant ass it's actually luigi was it luigi Luigi. i'm so sorry yeah that makes more sense i guess um yeah well it's been the theme of the day and i'm just i'm just it just feels like fate that we would have read this email on this day i'm make the dinosaur have a giant ass i'm a little afraid they're gonna do it yeah so might i suggest I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be kind of on your shoulder here whispering, don't okay. do it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to say, hey, what if you didn't? That's not what devil's advocate is. Hmm. That's the opposite, right. actually. Because I'm the good guy for doing it? Yeah. In this current climate, I feel like the bad guy. How about that? <laughs> I feel like the minority saying, hey, shouldn't we not? And then people are booing at me. I'm booing at you. Yeah. Have you talked about your... Have we gotten um, very much into your your crush on Sonic the Hedgehog on this on this show? I don't recall. Let's just assume that we've covered it in detail and move <laughs> on from there. Yeah, I'm just now thinking back now. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've, yeah we've, we're done. We've, so, we've covered it. Uh, next email. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. We're out of time. No, oh, we got fuck. like 10 minutes. We No, <laughs> no we're out of time. We're, no, it's... The producer's right. tapping, tapping his watch. <laughs> that was you got... trying to unjack me just now. <laughs> no, <I was laughs> trying to whoop, trying to jack the out, cables out of the computer. <laughs> that noise has been happening more and more. Yeah, it's because I'm recording in my current bit rate to reduce lag. Oh, so it's your, fu- your yeah, fault. Yeah, it's a bit my fault. Yeah. Okay. If good, I had just done it in another way, yeah, it's it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
Thank God this eyeliner is <laughs> non-running. <laughs> Thank God it's waterproof. Waterproof eyeliner. <clears throat> Anyway, I, I love I, just, I I love this person writing to us from their art class about this subject, and then afterwards just being like, "P.S. Love the art you guys make." Just glad that they have such a well rounded, um, well rounded view of art. It doesn't all. seem that well rounded. Seems right on the nose. <laughs> doesn't seem that well rounded considering the lack of giant ass that we're seeing. <laughs> nice round <laughs> ass, actually. <laughs> I'd like a well-rounded pick <laughs> of that dinosaur, butt. actually. <laughs> a nice bubbly fucking round pick. <laughs> um, my honest advice? Yeah. Uh, do your assignment correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then maybe just do figure drawing in your spare time. Yeah. It's fine. Maybe just draw it kind of on your own. Yeah. Post it to Twitter, and then it'll just be one of those reaction gifts Post where people it. will be like, ha ha. DeviantArt. Well, it would bang on DeviantArt. Yeah. It would course. blow up. Yeah. Start a Patreon. It'll Ooh. be fun. Mm-hmm. Start making money. Mm-hmm. You can do that. <laughs> Fuck, if we can do that, you can do that. <laughs> That's what we're doing on our Patreon. More or less. <clears throat> we yeah, Look, when it comes down to just being mm-hmm. an artist, yeah. having a Patreon, yeah. producing something, mm-hmm. and people paying monthly people for it, it. Are they jacking off to it? Who knows? Uh, who knows? I don't know. Who knows? I'm not one to ask. No. Now, the likelihood that they would if you were to post uh your like uh dinosaur big ass drawings on it <laughs> probably maybe you probably. get a lot of the likelihood f- goes up do furries support um patreon are they on patreon very much or are they more of a a coffee or ko-fi um collective i think it, uh, I think it depends how hardcore they want to go because you can't, you can't show that much on Patreon anymore. Unfortunately. Sadly, sadly for everyone. Even if it's like... Drawn? Yeah. Yeah, even if it's drawn? Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to keep it on the down low. Fuck. <laughs> I got to delete some shit. shit. Hang Hold on. Hold on, I got to... <laughs> Scramble it. <laughs> absolutely tumbling toward my computer. <laughs> fuck, 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 I've been deleted. Shit. God damn it. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> It was Mario, but just but spread wide open. <laughs> it was just a JPEG that you can. Okay, what if it wasn't hosted on? Like you couldn't see it on Patreon, but you can download it from Patreon. So you're using their servers. No, it's still not. No, that's the thing. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to host it on there. No. It, it's just a little, but you can't see it on their website. But it's just a little. It's just a little download at the bottom of the no, post, and I it's a JPEG. If, if you're cheeky, you can get away with, like, an external link. Huh. Yeah. I'm just giving people advice at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of just, like, a, a link at the bottom of it that's just called, like, Mario Gape. Dot JPEG. Dot JPEG. Dot TIFF. <laughs> it's lossless. lossless yeah. <laughs> it's enormous. <laughs> it's 400 megabytes. <laughs> taking up half my hard drive it please, is, please it download is it so much larger than this podcast episode <laughs> the lines are pristine you can <laughs> zoom in and go further i wish we were brave enough to name this episode mario gape dot tiff but we're not i don't think we are <laughs> we're not no we definitely are I not i think it's not allowed on, on apple podcasts i would say no as well which is censorship yeah that's that's censoring a, myself out of cowardice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, when it comes to, so you hear that screaming <laughs> so, outside? Someone's, I, I, they're, they're either sneezing real loudly or deadlifting. Ooh, maybe they're deadlifting. Yeah. You want me to peek out the window really quick? Kinda. Okay, hold on. See, see if anyone's a. Uh, let's have a peek. All right. They're really yelling. I don't see any. I don't see none. Hmm. We can ask him about it at the party. <laughs> Hey, who was screaming yeah, in your somebody, backyard? There's somebody screaming. Really? Like, oh, that? Mm-hmm. I'll never tell. <laughs> oh. There's a freshly dug fucking bit of soil in the oh, garden. Oh, God. <laughs> but, like, it didn't sound like that kind of... It just sounded like, ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Pretty good impression. Whoa! <laughs> um, okay, so what I was going to say is, is when it comes to hiding boobs in the pic... Uh-huh. A little subliminal art. Oh. 
Uh, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't. Yeah. Also, also that's... don't do it. Also, just do. Yeah, just just do your assignment. Probably just do your assignment Sorry. and be like a good Sorry. a good little student. <laughs> and uh, oh, but if you want to do something fun, hmm. my suggestion uh-huh. is. Yeah, okay, so don't draw the boobs, but instead do the assignment properly, uh-huh. and then for a little sprinkled fun, you can do your best oh. throughout the rest of your college career. Oh, and uh, that is kind of funny. But mm. also, as a kick, practice like healthy lifestyle choices mm. because college is a, quite a difficult time on your on your on your on your body and on your mind. True. So that added to what you'll what you're doing which is the no breast dinosaur hot pick mm-hmm. um would be a real knee slapper would would be a real, a real winning combination the rest of your years in college spent trying your best doing your best and being the best you as a prank on the establishment yeah yeah the dean doesn't want you to make his list that's kind of why i did <laughs> <laughs> the dean's list is like he doesn't actually want it. He's trying to get you off of it, and that's the game. You have to wiggle your way on it. Yeah, you got to wiggle your way towards a successful academic career. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and aren't you, isn't this person doing like psychology and stuff like that? Yeah. What's the psychology behind wanting to draw tits on a fucking? <laughs> Explain that to us on a little still life dinosaur. <laughs> hmm? What's Freud got to say about it? Maybe lay down on the couch and talk to yourself about this. <laughs> About this one. <laughs> They're like, this isn't the neuro shit that I study. This mm-hmm. is some. You're so ill-informed. Oh, yeah. They said there was some psychoneurology. Something like that. Here's a quick question. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I, that's why I made you uh, read the question. Oh. Yeah. I couldn't pronounce that fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> I, I apparently don't know how to say um, pseudo, so you, yeah. you, that's fine. We could start now. Pseudo. I just don't like it. Suedo sounds like a type of suit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like fake suede for some reason. Like velour. <laughs> it <laughs> sounds like suede, but not real, which is funny because suede doesn't need to be not real. <laughs> fake suede. Suedo. That's what it sounds like. Suede does need to be not real. What is what is we, I, real I've suede? told you what suede is so many times and you keep forgetting. What is suede? Skin. <gasps> <laughs> Of what? <laughs> you keep forgetting what suede is. But don't we have a suede futon? It's not real. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how fucking expensive it would be to get a real suede futon? We got mink instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of mink eyelashes <laughs> that everyone's mad about right now. Is but, that? A, yeah, yeah. I've I've heard of that actually. I gotta I gotta look it up to make sure I'm right. Suede, isn't that just co- cotton? Leather with the flesh side rubbed to make a velvety oh, nap. Yeah, I yeah. do remember that. Well, then mm-hmm. suedo is a cool term. It's fake suede. Yeah, suede dash o trademark. A trademark TM, by Steve O. Re- registered <laughs> copyright. By Steve O. By Steve O. <laughs> Not me. I'm just protecting his yeah. work. <laughs> His life's work. I'm just letting you all know. He went from jackass to this. <laughs> he went from jackass to caring about SeaWorld. <laughs> and then it makes perfect sense that he would make suedo. Suedo. Because it's fake leather. It's fake suede. Yeah. Steve O, if and when you hear this, <laughs> uh, just give when? me a little nudge and I will take down the episode so you can then claim it as your original idea. Good. Suede O. Steve O. <laughs> Hold on. I'm fucking He's workshopping. Thinking. I know. I can it's see just, you thinking. It's hard when you're fucking laughing. It actually makes me feel really bad. Oh, God. Um. Yeah, no, I guess I'm pissed now. Oh. Yeah, I'm in a bad mood. All right. We, be- we better end the episode okay. then before you get mad. Hey, guys. You were listening to All the Space in Between. My name is Mitch. I'm Billy. Thank you for listening wherever you listen. Uh, if that's on Spotify, you can give us a follow. If that is on Apple Podcasts, you can give us a rate and review and subscribe and all that good stuff. If it's on our website, you can go ahead and tell your friends or your girlfriend or your partner or your, not your parents. Don't Probably tell don't your tell your parents. parents like, so don't do that. Well, isn't that weirder that we're just like, don't <laughs> tell your parents? Like, that's fucking well, we, weird. No, we only want to we want to avoid the situation that you were talking about earlier. In the with having to have Jordan's dad watch a sick animation. Like <laughs> Billy's over here, like, thanks for listening to our podcast, but shh, don't tell mommy. <laughs> don't tell your mommy that you she's like, what the fuck? Don't tell people that. If you're young enough, first of all, if you're so young 
that you, because we've said this before, if you're like a straight up, like a very young teen, don't listen to our podcast. But don't, I, but at least don't tell me you're doing it. And then, <laughs> and then on top of that, have no interaction with me on top of that because, and I can't stress this enough, I will be turning 30 next year. Weird. And we're making piss and dick jokes on a, on a Buffy fan cast. <laughs> I mean, we just introduce this as a Buffy fan cast, just in the sense that we're both fans of Buffy now. Not yeah. that we, we don't talk about Buffy in the podcast. But I am on season two now. We are on season two, and we did see a weird bug man. Barreling towards season three. Mm-hmm. And it's been good. You think we, well, we won't. I was going to say, do you think we'll finish season two before I go? No. Uh, you leave in like 20 minutes. Like, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're definitely not going <laughs> to. When will we have time? I don't know. No. Okay. The answer is no. Ah. I would love to see you finish Spyro the Dragon before you leave, though. Maybe I can do that. Yeah, the first one at least. We really, really live in the 90s. I want to, Yeah, really. <laughs> we just watch Buffy in the X-Files <laughs> and play Spyro. Just drinking Tang and doing it all. You have Tang over there? No, I We're told at, you we have Tango. Oh, yeah. We're out of time. We can't get, <laughs> We gotta go. We, we can't gotta, get We this. gotta leave. Yeah. Um, did you already plug the episode? Did you already plug the... Oh, I started to. Okay, uh, guys, if you uh, would like to listen to our <laughs> podcast... And, you know what I've noticed, too, is that we're kind of plugging Spotify a lot, mm-hmm. and our fucking RSS feed plays <laughs> going are going down. down. <laughs> so maybe maybe just tell a friend. How about that? Okay. You just listen to it on whatever you prefer. Listen wherever is more listen convenient. Wherever, as long as you're listening, I'm happy. And mm-hmm. if you tell a friend... I'm super stoked. Good. I'm very excited if you tell a friend and actually talk about, tweet about, TikTok about. Here's our deal. Tell a friend, get a free episode to huh? listen to. That's my deal that I'm plugging. Where if, will if the episode it, come from? Um, It's just the next one. Oh. But it's I for we were free. Gonna, I thought we were going to record one. No, it's just the next one, but it's for free. So that's like a threat, is if you don't tell a friend... <laughs> There, there won't be another fucking There won't episode. be a next episode. <laughs> Do you know what number this episode is? I think it's 36. 36. Yeah. Wow. Good. Well, this is the longest goodbye we've done. It is. Uh, let's finish up. Guys, uh, our website is allthespaceinbetween.com. You can go there and listen to all the episodes and learn about the show or get a link to our social links, our Twitters and things like that. But if you would like to send us your pickle. Your mm-hmm. email, a little a little problem that you're in or some advice that you need, you can send your email to our very easy to remember email, and that is all the space in between at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful week and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.